Hello, gentles and lady men. I am Bison Gaming. I am joined here by Steven. How's it going, Steven? What's up? Apparently we're bug hunting, which is my favorite pastime. <laughs> yes, indeed. So, uh, me and my buddy Prez discovered uh, a new bug while we were trying to break the game again. Because, of course we do. That's what we do here at Bison Gaming. Uh, and this whole adventure started... Um, when when I received a message one night while I was working uh, on Discord from, from Prez, who said to me, hey, I have this idea. What would happen if we put 20 settler wagons on the Hacienda and then tried to have it produce Chinacos or Quadreros? And I was like, that's a hilarious idea. Let's try it. But I was a little skeptical about whether this would work because... Um, I was under the impression for a very long time, and I'm sure a lot of you are as well, um, that the hacienda is it works differently than uh, than other farms. That the settlers that you task to work at a hacienda when it's tasked to food or coin do not actually gather resources, but contribute a work rates to the hacienda, which produces all the res itself. And you can see this visually when you task settlers to work at the hacienda, and it will say that it is producing 3.5 food per second, which is one half food per every settler, plus the one half food it trickles at a base when nothing is happening, when nothing is being produced at it at all. Um, and this is a perfectly reasonable, you know, assumption to make. That's what I thought it was for years, especially because this would coincide with its ability to produce cows and settlers and chinacos and, 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 uh, quatreros, uh, because you wouldn't want it to switch mechanics halfway through. However, the settlers, as you can see, also have a gather rate. If you click on a settler, you can see it's gathering 0 0.5 food per second. And there's six of them, so that's three food per second. But this says 3.5 because of the half trickle from the Hacienda. So what is it? Is the Hacienda producing half a food per second and all of the settlers are individually generating resources on their own? Or is it the work rate? Because... Uh, when you look at the food total coming in, this is coinciding with only 3.5 food per second. So it's it's not clear whether it's the Hacienda producing stuff or the settlers. And I thought for a long time it was the Hacienda and the settlers were just showing a visual representation of how much they were contributing to the, uh, to, to the pile. And this is important because if the settlers are working here, then that means that theoretically the settler wagons should be able to generate resources as well. But if they're just contributing, um, but if they're just contributing uh, workforce to the Hacienda, then that makes the Hacienda very equivalent to a community plaza, which doesn't allow teammates to work. So I wasn't really sure whether settler wagons would work or not. So, uh, Stephen, why don't you task our 20 settler wagons here to work on this Hacienda? There we go. Go, my pretties. And the the, the reason we want to do it with settler wagons is because they, of course, count as two settlers. So this is the equivalent of 40 settler power. And if we could get this to spawn units, that would be fantastic, right? Uh, and the answer is um, you have food gener uh, like food generation right now, right? You, you're getting food for working at my house. Yes, I am. Hold on. One of my guys isn't tasking. Weird. Yeah, so okay. you are. But yes, so, I'm getting 19 point. I'm getting uh, yeah, food. Yeah, you're getting 19 food per second right now. I, it looks like one of your dudes isn't working. Yeah, this, this guy's. Yeah, one of my dudes uh, does not like. Uh, so that means that like this, this is a. This, this is not a generation from the Hacienda, but it is a total from the generation of all the workers here as well as the Hacienda. However, it's weird because my ally is working at it, so I'm not getting the resources. I'm only getting half of a food per second right now, but the Hacienda's UI tells me I'm getting 19.5 food per second. It would say 20 if the last one would work. So there's there's like a little bit of a visual bug there. You know, it's weird. It's, it's awkward. Um... But then that leaves the question, what happens when I try to tell the Hacienda to produce Quatreros or Chinacos? Because at that point, the workers do become just a uh, workforce for the Hacienda's production. The settlers don't. The settlers are not going to be producing Chinacos by themselves. Right, so what do you think will happen, Steven? Oh, I'm going to guess that we're going to be producing Chinacos at like one every half second. <laughs> uh... 
So the answer I'm about to provide applies to Chinakos, Quattros, Settlers, and Cows. It applies to all trainable units. Um, the answer is that it's just the base training speed for the Hacienda with no Settlers at us. Oh my gosh, But no way. here's the thing. Because it's no longer set to food or coin, your Settler Wagons are no longer <laughs> generating resources. But, but Stephen, <laughs> tell me whether or not they are idle on your screen right now. Uh, they are not idle. <laughs> they are not idle. So you they have are not idle. 20 wagons that are not doing anything right now. Yeah, tw oh my god. <laughs> they are not <laughs> gathering and they are not boosting the Chinako production. They are just working no. and getting nothing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's <okay>. so weird. <laughs> oh. I, 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 yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, I can see why you wouldn't want to be able to have, you know, your allies task on this production, but, uh, but at least make it so that it, it not forces any value, them idle, it at least make it so that it forces them to stop working at the Hacienda and makes them idle. Yeah, make it so that if it's tasked to anything where, you know, I as a player By don't the way, get it, um, but they just can't. More visual bugs for you. <laughs> if I click on my Hacienda, you know, the information on the Hacienda where it says how much time it takes the Quattro's to train or whatever, says it has 19 out of 20 gathers, but if I mouse over it, the pop-up says 0 out of 20. <laughs> uh, this will be on my channel very quickly, so you'll be able to. Yeah, so does if you watch on the cl make it so that if it switches to something that like they don't get anything that they just can't be tasked to it, that they go <laughs> or, idle, <yeah>. please. <laughs> because this is like really concerning. What if what if your ally like ran out of hunts or had their base destroyed and needed to move into your base? They go on the haciendas for food production, and then you, without communicating to your teammate because they're just a random, decide that you need to make some Quattreros or Chinacos from your Hacienda with that card. Well, you know, if you accidentally forget to tell your, your ally, he's going to be wondering why he's getting no food, and he's not going to have an immediate yeah, why, answer. Why are my 40 Vill equivalents here <laughs> not, not producing? So, in, in usual respects, and this has been happening a lot lately, um, where I, I, we come up with an idea to try to break the game, we try to put it in practice, and we instead discover a completely different bug that is even weirder than the one we were trying to exploit. Uh, last time was we were testing around with the Haraka's 161 range, and then it turned out that they didn't have any extra oh, range and also couldn't like walk up to enemies outside of their range and, and strike them once they got in. They just walked right up to them and, st and sat there. Yeah, uh, this game's weird, but it's so much fun. Um, I've had a hard time find finding ways to break the game. The game's been really well balanced these last couple of patches, with the exception, of course, of uh, Deccan being in the ranked map pool. But uh, you can watch my brother's new video uh, on Chase MD on YouTube to see all about that, because he's he's got a great video coming out to to really show off the exploit of it. I'll link it up above. Um, do you have any Do you have any last notes, Stephen? My God! <laughs> yeah, pretty crazy to have like no. You're getting no res for twenty settler wagons working on a hacienda, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. That, that's all I have. <laughs> okay. Have a great day, everybody, and goodbye.